A very special guest, not at the event, but coming through from our home country of Singapore. I'm very pleased to be able to welcome Tan Yin Young. He is the co-founder and CEO of Razor, and he's joining us live. Min Young, unfortunately, you couldn't be here with us, but I know you're going to be coming to Japan soon. But just, just firstly, in terms of events like the, the Tokyo Game Show, and I know you've got your own RazorCon event coming up tonight as well, but just how important are these kinds of events for the gaming industry more broadly, especially considering the, the tough three years we just went through with COVID-19? Well, thank you for having me. Well, the gaming events are massive for us, right? It's pretty much where all the gamers gather, what we like to say, away from keyboard together, um, checking out the latest games, and there's been a whole slew of great content happening or being launched at this point of time, whether it's in Tokyo Game Show or Gamescom that just went by recently in Europe. I think these events are pretty much where, you know, gamers come and get the, the latest and greatest of just hardware, software and services. You, you did mention that you're perhaps, you know, looking at new SKUs that you could get into, you know, to, to really take advantage of the changes. But I suppose that also begs the question, do you think we're ever going to see that the end of keyboards, the end of mice? Because in so much as, you know, we can have all this excitement about headsets and the new future of gaming, do you think that we are going to continue to see a place for, you know, keyboard warriors out there that want to play counter <laughs> strike and want to use their, their keyboard and mice. So, you know, we invented the gaming mouse and, um, you know, I've often heard of the potential death of the mouse and the keyboard, but, you know, now the, the entire market's even bigger than before. You know, we've got gaming mice that's gotten new innovations over and over, lower latency, providing the competitive edge. Esports, for example, right now, it's a massive segment for us. We've got competitive gamers playing for multi-million dollar purses at this uh, juncture. So what I really look at is how there's the growth of content together with the gaming accessories. And that's why we see the gaming accessories market continue to grow unabated, right? And it's really multiple forms of gaming. We've got new gamers coming in at all times. Over the pandemic, we saw the demographic really change and grow, you know, horizontally. We saw, you know, new gamers come from the emerging markets, Southeast Asia, Latin America, Middle East, so on and so forth. We saw gamers getting younger. We saw gamers getting older. Pretty much interactive entertainment is really here to stay. Hardware is definitely where it's at. We're growing our software platform. We've got over 230 million users on our launches at this point of time. And over and above, the services demanded by the gamers right now is just through the roof. Whether it's payments, whether it's new forms of uh, engaging with uh, the entertainment, it's just growing right now.